everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I am getting ready for the holidays and I've been doing some really fun crafts for Halloween and fall. So, I just wanted to show you a quick video on some simple things that you can do just to transform a mason jar to turn it into a centerpiece for your table. So this is just a standard large mason jar. It has the gold lid screwed on, but I took the middle piece out so this section is open. These can be used for so many different things, but something that I did last year for the holidays is I decided to paint them and use them as centerpieces for tables. So okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make one. So I'm going to shake my paint up really good and I'm going to put it on a disposable plate to work with. And then I'm going to take my foam paintbrush and I am just going to start putting a layer of paint onto my jar. It's just a plain mason jar with a gold ring around the top for the lid, but the solid insert lid piece removed. And I'm just going to work my way around the jar until I get one nice coat onto my jar. All right, so I have a coat of paint on my jar. I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put on a second coat. So now we're ready to put on a second coat. I've let it sit for just a couple of minutes. And so I have a little bit of paint left here, but probably not enough. So I'm going to put a little more on my plate. And I'm going to get a second coat on my jar just to give it a little more color for the base. With the one I'm painting today, um, as I explained, I'm using a gold metallic paint. On the jar that I have here, I actually used a white paint for my base, but this time I wanted to use something that was a little more autumn looking with a little more of a gold look to it. And so I thought a metallic paint might leave a really pretty, really pretty sparkle below my glitter paint. So that's why I'm trying this one this time and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm just gonna do my second coat. It's really quick and easy. You don't have to be particular. I actually kind of like seeing some of my brush strokes in there. Um, it's just the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to keep them in there and I am just kind of going over my jar to give it a nice second coat. You're still gonna be able to see through it just a little bit, but it's really coming out nice. I really, really like this metallic paint. It's really pretty actually. I hope you can see in the video how nice it's turning out. But the metallic paint just has a really pretty sheen to it. So now I'm gonna let that dry. And as soon as that dries, I'm going to go ahead and use my glitter glue for my last coat. In the meantime, I'm going to go and wash my brush so that I can clean it up and use a clean brush for my glitter glue. Okay, so I've washed my brush so it's nice and clean and I've given it an opportunity to dry. I've also let the second coat of my jar dry before I start putting my metallic paint on. I'm gonna use the same plate just off to the side uh, because I have some room available. So I'm gonna shake this up again really good and remove the lid and get some glitter glue on my plate. The thing I really like about this project is you don't have to be particular. You can just, you know, you don't have to be a great painter to do it. You can really just put the paint on exactly how you like, leaving the lines and the brush strokes visible kind of gives it a natural, almost a shabby chic kind of look to it, which I really like. So that's one of the reasons I'm not too particular about leaving the brush strokes or making it look perfect. It just kind of gives it even a woodland kind of look like an outdoor look which is what I'm going for. So now I'm just going to take some glitter glue on my foam brush and I'm just going to start applying it to my jar. And I'm just kind of tapping it on so that there's some glitter glue everywhere. It goes on nice and easy. And the foam brush works great for this. It's like I need a little more glitter glue on my plate. Okay, see if 
that's enough. I really like the look of this. It's turning out really nice. The fall colors are gonna be really beautiful with the leaves that I have here. Remember, you can get those at the Dollar Tree and um, they have all different types of them. So go check out your Dollar Tree and see what they have. So there we go. So now I've added my glitter. The last step is to add my leaves. Obviously, it's gonna have to sit and dry before it's gonna be ready for a party, but it'll be dry within the next few minutes. This paint doesn't take long to dry at all and the glitter glue dries really quickly. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these really pretty fall mason jar centerpieces for your table for the holidays or to give us a gift or for someone to put on their desk would be beautiful at your office as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed my video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!